here driving on the highway. Now it's one of my favorite things. I mean, once you get used to it, you can practically put yourself on autopilot till you hit your exit. And with friends, it's fun. But it's a whole different experience when you're driving alone. Especially at night. It's just you, your thoughts, and the radio. Steady rumbling of the engine and the general smooth ride are comforting, leading to a headspace that is unique, meditative. In the last couple of years, I've embarked on tons of those lengthy late night drives to visit my partner when he still lived on the East Coast. Every ride was solo, and I got into a rhythm very quickly. Despite the darkness, the wild rains, the rotting backwoods gas stations, and the outright crazy truck drivers. I adored it. It forced me to stop trying to do everything at once, and just... drive. It forced me to take a break. God, I needed it. Those drives will always remain a fond memory for me. But I'll never forget that deer. You don't see large roadkill very often on the highway. Typically, it's some poor little thing so squished up that all you see is an unrecognizable red streak with fur attached. And when it's something as big as a deer, it's usually just lying there. On the side of the road, no visible wounds or anything. Like it was sleeping. You just go, aw, that's too bad, and you drive away and forget about it. Not this one. I even remember where I was, right about to cross state lines when my headlights illuminated it and the shock of seeing red pulled my attention away from the road. It was lying on its side in the breakdown lane with its chest completely open. The intestines were everywhere, mangled and glistening against the concrete. The ribcage peeked out through tattered flesh. It was just destroyed. I only saw it for a second or two, but it burned itself into my brain. And I was unsettled for the remainder of the drive. I remember thinking to myself, good God. I can only hope that died on impact. But there was no way of knowing. Perhaps it saw the truck and... I had a split second to realize it before it left this world, but maybe it didn't, and it had to lie there by the side of the road, organs displayed to the world, bleeding out in unspeakable pain as countless onlookers sped by, barely giving it a thought. Just watching you die. It got me thinking. How would I like to die? Would I rather have it unexpectedly quick? Or I'd barely have time to think, just, just enough time to recognize? Or would I rather have it long and drawn out? Or I have time to make peace, where death comes as a welcoming embrace of freedom from suffering? And so I wonder often to myself, if I had that choice, what choice would I make? The deer told me the answer. I dreamt one night that I found myself in an empty highway lane late at night. Cars rushed past me on either side at high speeds. I had no idea where I was or where I was supposed to be going, so I walked. The speeding cars were my only source of light, and yet despite the danger, it felt fairly tranquil. My stomach dropped when, from behind me, I heard hooves. I turned to face the deer from that night, slowly walking up the path to meet me. It held its head high as it walked, proud and regal, as viscera dragged along behind it, a grotesque wedding train drenching the road markers in red. Its eyes glowed bright and yellow as they locked with my own. Did not blink. 
It stopped a few feet in front of me, and we stood in silence for a while. And the rush of traffic grew thicker on both sides. I thought again of my choice. And the deer cocked its head and opened its mouth. The choice doesn't matter. When you have won, you will desire the other. You will always be longing. And its eyes opened wide, glowing brighter and brighter, so much so I was nearly blinded. I tried to scream, but I couldn't. I couldn't move. I was frozen. And then... I don't think about which one I'd want anymore. I think I'd like it to be a surprise. 